Welcome to our deep dive into the mesmerizing world of the Styxosaurus, a marine giant that ruled the ancient seas during the late Cretaceous period. Today we're exploring the rise and fall of this incredible creature, from its reign as a dominant predator to its mysterious extinction. If you're fascinated by the wonders of prehistoric life and the untold stories of our planet's past, you're in the right place. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe for more captivating content just like this. Let's embark on this journey through time and uncover the secrets of the Styxosaurus. Imagine a creature of the sea as long as a school bus with a neck that could rival the length of three adult humans stacked head to toe. The Styxosaurus, a giant among the plesiosaurs, roamed the late Cretaceous seas approximately 85 to 70 million years ago. This era was a time when the Earth's waters teemed with life Yet it was the Styxosaurus, with its elongated neck, small head, and flippers on all fours that stood out as a master of adaptation and survival. Their diet likely consisted of fish, squid-like creatures, and other marine animals captured with swift precision. Yet despite their formidable presence, these giants were not invulnerable to the changes that lay ahead. The Styxosaurus boasted one of the longest necks of any marine reptile, with some specimens having necks up to 20 feet long, which is over half the total body length. This remarkable feature allowed it to reach into tight spaces in coral reefs and between rocks to catch its prey, an ability unmatched by many other marine predators of its time. The Styxosaurus, with its incredibly long neck, had more vertebrae than any other known animal, boasting over 70 individual vertebrae in its neck alone. This remarkable adaptation allowed it an unprecedented range of motion in the water, enabling it to capture prey with swift and unexpected movements, a testament to its evolutionary ingenuity in the ancient marine ecosystems. The late Cretaceous period was a time of dynamic climate shifts, Volcanic activity and changes in Earth's orbit led to fluctuating temperatures and sea levels. For the Styxosaurus, these were not mere inconveniences but existential threats. As sea levels rose, their nesting grounds may have become submerged, forcing them into less ideal habitats. Conversely, when sea levels fell, the shallow coastal areas they favored for hunting could have vanished, leaving them in a perilous search for food. These climatic oscillations were a harbinger of challenges, setting the stage for a struggle against the elements. Some Styxosaurus specimens measured up to 35 feet in length, making them one of the largest plesiosaurs to have ever existed. Their size was not just for show. It played a crucial role in maintaining body temperature and deterring predators. In the vast blue expanses of the late Cretaceous oceans, the Styxosaurus was not alone. It shared the waters with a myriad of marine reptiles, including the fierce mosasaurs and other plesiosaurs. Competition was fierce, with each species vying for a share of the ocean's bounty. As resources became scarce, the Styxosaurus had to compete not only with its own kind, but also with these emerging predators, leading to an intense struggle for survival where only the fittest could prevail. Unlike many marine creatures, the Styxosaurus propelled itself through the water with four large, flipper-like paddles. This unique adaptation allowed for efficient and agile movement in the water, enabling it to glide gracefully while hunting for fish and squid. Periods of oceanic anoxia, or the significant reduction in oxygen levels were not uncommon in the late Cretaceous. Triggered by volcanic eruptions and stagnation of ocean currents, these events turned vast stretches of ocean into dead zones. For the Styxosaurus, dependent on a rich variety of marine life for food, these were times of famine. The anoxic conditions decimated their prey, disrupting the food chain and forcing these predators to face the harsh reality of a changing world. Evidence suggests that the Styxosaurus could dive to great depths to hunt for prey. Its bone structure indicates a physiology well adapted to withstand high pressure, allowing it to explore food sources unavailable to many competitors. The ecosystems of the late Cretaceous were in a constant state of flux. As new species evolved and others went extinct, the balance of marine life shifted. The Styxosaurus, finely tuned to thrive in specific conditions, found itself outpaced by the rapid ecological changes. Predators became more adept, and prey species either disappeared or became less accessible. This relentless evolution of the marine ecosystem left the Styxosaurus grappling with a world that was becoming increasingly unfamiliar. Fossils of the Styxosaurus have been found in various locations around the globe, including North America and Antarctica, indicating a wide distribution and suggesting they were highly adaptable to different marine environments. The increase in volcanic activity and the subsequent release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere led to a significant rise in ocean acidity. This acidification had detrimental effects on marine life, particularly on calcifying organisms which formed the base of the food web. For the Styxosaurus, this meant a decline in available prey. 
making survival an ever-increasing challenge. The corrosive waters may have also affected their health directly, further compounding their struggle for existence. The Styxosaurus used its long neck and small head to sneak up on prey, minimizing water disturbance and allowing it to surprise fish and cephalopods before they could flee. The late Cretaceous was marked by several mass extinction events, culminating in the most famous event that led to the demise of the dinosaurs. While the Styxosaurus managed to survive initial events, the cumulative impact of volcanic eruptions, asteroid impacts, and drastic climate changes proved too much. These events reshaped the world, leading to a loss of biodiversity and altering habitats in ways that the Styxosaurus and many other species could not adapt to. While the social behavior of the Styxosaurus is not fully understood, some scientists hypothesize that they may have lived in groups or pairs, as suggested by the discovery of multiple individuals in close proximity in fossil records. As the late Cretaceous period progressed, the marine environment underwent significant changes. The combined effects of oceanic anoxia, rising temperatures, and acidification led to the decline of many prey species. This decline had a cascading effect on the food web, impacting predators like the Styxosaurus. With their primary food sources becoming scarce, these marine giants faced increasing difficulties in finding nourishment, leading to starvation and a decrease in their population. The teeth of the Styxosaurus were needle-like, perfect for catching slippery prey. These teeth were not used for chewing, but for grasping, with the prey being swallowed whole. The reproductive success of the Styxosaurus was crucial for the maintenance of their population. However, environmental changes pose significant challenges. The alteration of coastal habitats through rising sea levels likely impacted their breeding grounds. Additionally, increased predation pressures on Styxosaurus young by more agile and adaptable predators decreased their survival rates. These reproductive challenges were a critical factor in their gradual decline. The Styxosaurus was a resilient species, surviving several minor mass extinction events that occurred during the late Cretaceous. However, it ultimately fell victim to the mass extinction event that ended the Cretaceous period. Disease and parasites present a natural challenge to marine life, and the Styxosaurus was no exception. The stress from environmental changes and reduced food availability could have weakened their immune systems, making them more susceptible to diseases. Parasites and new pathogens could have spread more rapidly through stressed populations, further diminishing their numbers and weakening the species as a whole. The Styxosaurus likely possessed a highly developed sensory system, enabling it to detect prey through murky waters and navigate the vast oceans with precision. The dwindling population of the Styxosaurus led to a genetic bottleneck, where a significant reduction in individuals resulted in decreased genetic diversity. This lack of diversity made the population more vulnerable to diseases, reduced their adaptability to changing environmental conditions, and decreased their reproductive success. The genetic bottleneck likely accelerated their decline, leaving them unable to recover as their habitat continued to change. In some rare cases, paleontologists have found fossilized remains of the Styxosaurus's last meals preserved within their stomachs, offering a direct glimpse into their diet and feeding habits. The exact method of reproduction for the Styxosaurus remains a mystery. While it's believed they gave birth to live young, no definitive fossil evidence has been found to confirm how they mated or the exact nature of their reproductive practices, adding an intriguing layer of mystery to their study. The culmination of environmental pressures, competition, and ecological changes eventually led to the Styxosaurus's extinction. It is likely that a combination of factors, rather than a single catastrophic event, was responsible for their demise. The gradual erosion of their ecological niche, compounded by rapid changes in the marine environment, left the Styxosaurus without the means to survive. Their extinction marked the end of an era, closing the chapter on a once-dominant marine predator. The story of the Styxosaurus is a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the relentless force of change. Through the lens of this ancient marine reptile's extinction, we gain insights into the complex interplay between organisms and their environment. The Styxosaurus's journey through the ages, from dominance to extinction, reflects the dynamic nature of our planet's history. As we continue to explore the depths of the past, the legacy of the Styxosaurus lives on, teaching us about the resilience and vulnerability of life. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey into the life and times of the Styxosaurus. We've traversed through epics, uncovering the factors that led to the rise and eventual fall of one of the ocean's most awe-inspiring inhabitants. The story of the Styxosaurus is a testament to the ever-changing nature of life on Earth, reminding us of the resilience and vulnerability of the natural world. 
If you enjoyed this exploration and want to dive deeper into the mysteries of our planet's prehistoric past, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content that brings history to life. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive and thank you for watching.